Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you are all doing well today. I am playing with the um, third week of the hashtag second set stash slash seven um, open collaboration and it is actually uh, co-hosted by many people but it was the con concept was thought of and the group administrator is Maria from Maria's Miscellany. And uh, we have a whole bunch of people here who are co-hosting this, including myself. And so this open collaboration uh, is uh, you choose at least one of the seven items for the list for each month. And all this information will be below, so don't worry if you don't catch it. Each month is going to have a list of seven items that you are to use or can use in your project. Um, find the item or items from your stash because we are we are slashing our stash here. Make something with your item, make a video or take pictures, add your video to the playlist for each month and the playlist address is on underneath the uh, month, month and you'll see this below. Um, and if you prefer pictures, you can send them to Maria and the, her, she gives her email address a week in advance. And then you schedule your videos to go live 12 Central uh, time on the second Saturday of each month. And I know that's a lot of information. It is all listed below. If you have any questions, by all means, um, email Maria. Her address is also below. So this this uh, month, May 14, this list was come, came from Lisa, from Lisa, My Eclectic Life. She picked the seven items. And the items for this this month are stencil, Sharpie pen, paint you need to use up, tissue paper, cardboard, old book page, and something shiny. Who doesn't like something shiny? So that is what we're going to be using today. And I'm just gonna put this to the side here to so make sure I get everything. I'll check my list again at the end to make sure I didn't forget anything. So what I thought I'd be working on today, if any of you followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I have this little prayer book that I made. It is almost completely filled now. Um, and it's got three signatures. So I pulled one of the signatures out to make it a little bit easier to work with. Plus this signature here is the one that has the last few pages um, that are not filled. And I, I didn't work in chronological order on this one, so um, I just opened to something that is uh, available and that's what I'm going to be using. So um, what I do generally is I go ahead and decorate the page and then I leave one page open for a prayer that I write uh, based on a scripture that I cho choose. Okay, So I have a scripture in mind that I'm going to be using for this one. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and decorate these pages first. So let me go ahead without uh, further ado. Now one of the things we needed to do to use was stencil and tissue paper. So I just had some white, you know, gift tissue paper like that. And so what I did was I stenciled on it this kind of brick pattern in blue. And I used this paint that I want to use up, these little studio paints here. And I don't even know how old this is, uh, but it's really, really old. I have a couple of these and I need to get rid of them. So I, I'm going to go ahead and I think, I think that I'll just go ahead and, which page do I want to put it on? I'll put it on this page here. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this out the best I can. And if it tears into pieces, that's okay. I don't, I don't care about that. But this is three items right here, tissue paper, a stencil, and paint I want to get rid of. Although I might use the paint again. Um, I'm not sure. Let me just file that over there. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this down here. But before I do, I have to put my borders, finish my borders. Every page in this book has borders all the way around. You know, I, I did the juicy edges on the whole book, but I do put borders all the way around, and this top and bottom don't have borders, so before I do that, I need to go ahead and do that, and I just make borders out of strips of paper that um, I've torn off of other projects, and I really, really, this is this is critical part here, and this is one of the reasons I love this book so much and why it's so cute. I don't overthink where the, what the 
strips look like. I just go ahead and stick them down. They, the juicy edges don't particularly match, and so neither do the borders, but somehow it always comes together. Um, I love, love, love this book, and I will, when I get it completely done, I'll do a, a quick flip through video, <clears throat> video, but I still do have, I think, about maybe three more pages that I need to do to get this completely finished. So, like I said, I'm not um, terribly concerned about what's showing, what's not showing. You know, I just do it. And what I don't certainly don't match my colors. Uh, just get the pages filled. Okay. Now, I do kind of keep a little theme, you know, with the decoration, with maybe like what the scripture is or, you know, color wave or something like that. Um, Okay, well, something like that, and then uh, let's see here. We're going. To, I'll put that down here. So yeah, I'm just picking these scraps, and these these are just trimmings. These you know when you make junk journals or journaling cards or whatever, you have just so many leftover strips and whatever. So that's basically what I'm using is just these strips. And here's something. Okay, now that one I'm not going to use because that one is definitely Christmas themed. So, uh, let's, okay, let's use this one maybe on this side because that's long enough. And, I mean, I can't even tell you who these papers are. They're multiple different papers since they come from every different kind of project. Like I said, if I have a thin strip like that, it goes in this little pencil holder. And this is what I use for this project, for this particular journal. I'm just trying to make sure I get it to the end here without going over, although I can always trim it. Okay, and let's do something at the top. Good way to use up scraps. Okay, we'll do that. I think that's a little bit too long. There we go. Okay. Great way to use up these scraps because if you're like me, you can't throw anything away. It's like, oh no, but I could use that for something. Well, yep, you can. You can use it for edging your journal pages. Okay, all right. Something like that. Now, oops, I'm way too far over. I'll never fold that up. Okay. I think that that's okay. Okay. I think that's good. All right, so that's the beginning right there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. This is my my paper and I'm going to use a glue stick. This is my tissue paper with my paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a generous amount of of glue here. I, it's easier to glue the substrate than the tissue paper because the tissue paper obviously is so thin it will could tear. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put that on there. I love to glue, glue stick, tissue paper, and napkin because it goes on so nice and smooth compared to using Mod Podge or some a wet medium like that. I mean, you're going to get some wrinkles, and if I had, was taking my time, I could get it much smoother than this. But I, this journal is just so fun. I just love how all the pages on this one come out. So um, I'm not going to be too fussy about it, but I do have to glue this little piece down because this is sticking up way too much. Okay. All right, so there we go. So there's that. Okay. So now another thing that we have to use is cardboard. So I have somewhere, where did it go? Oh no, where did my cardboard go in this mess? All right, do you all see a piece of cardboard here? Oh, right here, right here. Okay, right in front of my face, right? So what I'm going to do with the cardboard is I am going to use some of my glue, I mean my glue, my paint that I want to use up, and I'm going to try to stamp some lines because this is the page right here where I will, um, this is the page where I'm going to um, write my prayer. So... It will help me if I have some lines, at least a little bit of line lineage to keep it straight. Although that's never bothered me on any other part of this journal. I just write 
it's just a prayer. God doesn't care if my lines are straight or not. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just really going to see if this works. So let's see. If not, it will make an interesting background. No, it didn't really work. I think what's happening, it did kind of, I mean, you can kind of see the lines. It's more adding texture, uh, which is fine. Um, but I think what's happening is this cardboard, this corrugated cardboard is soaking up the paint. So if I let this dry and do the cardboard dry and do it again, it might, the, the paint might seal it so that it would actually work a little better like if I use it again next time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. Okay. I actually like this. It's kind of making a really cool texture on here, and I'm gonna write over that. I actually do like the look of that, so that's good. So I used my cardboard, and I'm gonna put that aside. So this is the side where I'm gonna write my scripture and my prayer to the Lord. So. On this side here, one of the things we had to use, and I need to actually get my pen and mark these off, I used my cardboard, okay. A Sharpie pen and something shiny is the only thing I still need to use, okay. So on this page here, oh, an old book page, okay. I have this book that I bought called A Field Guide to Wildflowers. So this is the old book that I'm using and I cut out some of the little wildflowers from it, okay? So these are gonna be my book page and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue some of these down here um, for some little focal points. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, they're a little bit fiddly because I, I really fussy cut around them quite um, close to the actual picture but I'm just going to stick one there like that my old book page that looks cute looks like a little flower against a brick wall but I do have this little flap in here and I wanted to put one on there too so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and snip this off and put one of these here and then I have some other little focal points too that I can use. I hope I'm staying in frame here. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that one there. Like that. And I, I think that looks really cute because this has got this crochet thing over here. And I think the pink looks really nice with it. And then I like this too, like that. Okay, so we've got that and that. Um, now, I want to do a little bit more um, decorating. What, did I, what were the other things I still needed to do? Sharpie pen and something shiny. Okay, I want to do a little more decorating because that's just the way I roll. Um, um, in this book, I just put tons of embellishments. And like I said, I'll do a little flip through sometime. I think I'm gonna let that hang off and then I'll cut it off when it's dried. Um, for this book, you can never have too many embellishments. And I don't really, I don't really have any rhyme or reason to how they go. I just kind of stick them on and it just always works out. I'm just gonna stick this here. And then that's not what I picked up, this little circle. I, a lot of times I just use particularly papers I'm not fond of. I'll just cut circles out of them and um, use those as embellishments. See, I got lots and lots of circles. Let's put some, oh, let's put a circle in that. Let's put a lighter color because that's quite dark, That this thing here. Let's put a thing inside and make it look like a flower. Now I do have, I don't have them on my desk, but I do have the stickers like this. I think they came from um, one of those sticker packs for faith journaling or faith-based sticker packs. And um, I always use one of those and then I write the scripture in, the, in one of those, but I don't have it on my desk right now. Okay, this is gonna prove interesting. 
I'm having trouble cutting this little guy off here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Um, I do have another flower here, and I think I'm going to put that there. Where are my time wise? I want I want to keep this kind of not too not too terribly long. And I got to remember I still have to use my sharpie pen, and I still have to use something shiny. So I'm just going to put this little flower here, and I have to remember that there's nothing back back here. So I had some pulled out some little doodads and stuff that I might put back here. These are already decorated little clusters. I didn't realize that that's what they were. That makes it my life simple. Should I put that one on there? Let me see, do I have any other? I didn't even know that these were <laughs> clusters. Okay, yay, yay. See, this is why it's always good to have extra clusters. The blue, that might be too much blue, though. Um, or the pink. No, we're going to go with the pink. Okay, we'll go with the pink. All right, so that decorates the back. That's, that's easy. So we're just going to put this cluster on. And now that I'm getting towards the end of the book and have taken this, this one um, signature out, I can let things get a little bit bulky because it's easy to work in it. When I put it back in the book, if the book's bulky, it doesn't matter because it will be finished by the time I put it back in. Okay, so my little flap now has that. That's really cute. Okay, so now all I have to do is use something, and I'm, I'm definitely going to decorate some more of this. I don't know if I'll do that on camera, but what I need to use is a Sharpie pen, and I got some, brought some Sharpie pens that have kind of this blue color, so maybe what I'm going to do is a little bit of faux stitching with a Sharpie pen, because who doesn't like a little faux stitching, right? It just adds a little dimension. And, you know, you can always, um, I'm, I'm probably going to cover some of this up anyway, this faux stitching, but I'm going to put it down and not worry about it if it does get covered up. And let's see, where are we going to do it here? This is where I'm writing my prayer here. So I think I might just keep it, make some little faux X's there. Like this. I don't want to get it too much in the way. I don't want to use up too much space decorating on this side because this is where I write my prayer. Okay. All right. So I've used my Sharpie pen and now I want to use something shiny. So I'm going to be using these gemstones here that I got from AliExpress and I want to put some of these on. But I think before I do that, I just want to add a little bit more decoration because why not, right? All of this stuff I have for my journal, my, um, this prayer journal, I keep it in one of those big 12 by 12, I think they're iris totes. And I keep, oh, look at this pretty flower. That would be pretty. I use one of my iris totes to keep all my faith journaling stuff together. Not that one. Maybe these. And I still want something on the inside of that one. I need something smaller. All right, let me just go ahead and see if I can't get these down real quick. This is a sticker. And then let me put the flower. Or should we put the flower somewhere else? No, let's put the flower up there. This page needs a little more decoration. Like I said, with this journal, I just go nuts with the decoration. It's just kind of never finished, and I love that. Okay, this one's proving a little problematic here. Ugh, I almost have it. There we go. All right, so I thought I'd maybe do that like that. Okay, something like that. And then I've got this little tab thing. See, here I go, here I go with all this. All right, stop, Helen. You gotta put something shiny on before time runs out. Okay, something shiny. 
Um, these little flowers here, these little flowers in on this thing, this little flap, have a tiny little yellow center. I don't know if you can, oh, that doesn't go on there. You can even see that. So I think what I'm gonna do is put my something shiny will be these dots and they're gonna go in the center of the flower. Okay, something like that. That's cute. And now what else can I do? Let me do something shiny on this side too. Oh, here's another flower here. I can put another one on this page. Okay. Okay. Like that. Okay, you know what? I'm just thinking, do I have time? I have like one nanosecond. Do I want to take one of these girls and put her here? Or is that too much? Because I've got her there. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is a little bit too plain for me. So I'm going to just stick her down and then we're going to say that's done. Okay. I'm going to stick her down there. Oh, okay, that's cute. Love it. Love it. Okay. So there it is, guys. There's my spread. This is where the prayer will be, and I'll write the scripture up here. This is the little flap. It's got the something shiny on it, and then here's the rest here. All right. So I'm just going to double check the list really quick. Let's see, sharp, oh, I've got a gemstone stuck to me. A stencil, that's what I used back here. Sharpie pen, the faux stitching, paint I need to use up, that's that. Tissue paper, that's that. The cardboard I used to make the, the smudgy things over here. Old book page is my cutouts here, and then the something shiny. So I did everything, guys, that's it. So I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And please check um, the links below. All the information is below. And you can, you can um, check either do the hashtag second set. Well, oh, what? It's so long, it's hard for me to remember. Uh, you can either hit the hashtag that's in my title the second Saturday stash slash seven in the title, or you can uh, look at uh, Maria's page and she will have a list of all the other participants who are uh, going in here. Oh no, it will be on the playlist. Um, you can go to the playlist and see all the other participants who are playing along with me. So I hope you enjoyed this. Until the next video, I hope you're truly blessed. Bye-bye.